In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix your Lego R2-D2 by giving him a third leg. I will show you many different strategies on how to do this, and we will see which one works the best. All right, so the first method we're going to try is this really tiny one. It only uses two pieces, a white cheese slope and this gray Technic pin. And it looks pretty good. It isn't completely level with the ground, but I think this one is the simplest way to fix your R2-D2. The next method is a bit more complicated, and it doesn't look as accurate, but I kind of like the Technic look of this one. This one uses two white one by one pieces and another gray Technic piece. And when you combine them, it makes this really cool electronic wheel looking thing. And I think it doesn't look very accurate, but it definitely looks kind of cool on your R2-D2. Moving back to accurate ways you can fix your R2-D2, we have this way. This is another very simple way that requires another white cheese slope. It also requires this gray piece right here. And when you combine them, you get this. This way looks kind of strange and it doesn't really touch the ground, but it still does work. This is probably my least favorite way to do it, but I do like how simple it is. The next way has a more mechanical look. This one uses three pieces, a white cheese slope, a one by one gray piece with a hole and another gray piece. And when you combine them all, it gives this very cool electronic look. This one looks accurate and I think it looks super cool. This is probably one of my favorites, although it is unfortunate that this piece sticks out in the back. But other than that, this is probably one of the best. The next way requires two pieces, a white cheese slope and this gray piece right here. And when you combine them both, you get this. This one looks pretty good, very simple, kind of similar to the ones we've tried before. This is another very simple way to upgrade it. The final way is the most complex way and probably the worst. As you can see, it uses just a bunch of different pieces. You can slow it down if you want to build it. And overall, it sticks out way too far and doesn't look very accurate. I do like the look of this one, though. And what I was trying to go for is I was trying to only use the front part, but I couldn't find a way to orient it the right way. So I had to build this. And I think this one is pretty bad, but I do like the look of it. So there you have it, guys. Those are six different ways you can fix your Lego R2-D2 and make it way more accurate with the third foot. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.